seed in the East. Check that. We're in the Midwest region here. Let's start that over. Houston is in the Midwest region, the number one seed. Only two schools, actually one school, but two teams, won the national championship in their own city. Houston has a chance to be the second school to do so. UCLA won in Los Angeles in 68 and 72. Houston has a chance to win the national championship in Houston in 2023. Here we are with Eric Casilius, Kenny White. We're going to go region by region here. We're going to start in the Midwest. And EK, we're going to start with you here in the Midwest region. Your best wager is what? All right, we can't hear Eric right now. He's talking, but we don't hear him. All right, well, let's see what we Let's do. try again. All right, I got you. Here we go. Let's go again. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's see if we got this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this, and we're going to go like that. How about now? We Here we you. go. Maybe I picked the wrong one because I, if it, maybe this was a sign from above that this is not my best pick. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna, I like Texas A&M over Penn State. Penn State's going to find out that why they are, you know, the pithy little athletic team that runs around in the Big Ten with Zach Eady and company. They're not that when they play Texas A&M. They're just not as good. And if they don't shoot the lights out, they're going to get beat up in this game because Buzz is a really good coach. His team is very good. I know they didn't have a great game today, but they beat Alabama in the regular season and they went to the final of the SEC. Texas A&M all over Penn State. They they should win this by double digits. Okay, let's keep it rolling here because we're going to go on an upset. When you take a look at some of these numbers in that region, where's a place that we're keyed in on a dog? Kent State, Kent State, Kent State, Kent State, and Kent <laughs> State again. Yes. I mean, what has the Big Ten done for you? They haven't won the title since 2000. Two years ago, I heard all our experts tell me how great the Big Ten was, and the entire conference was out of the tournament in about an hour and a half. Okay, until further notice, don't trust the Big Ten in a big spot. And oh, by the way, Kent State is very good. They have played tough games. They have hung in there. I love the four and a half, and I think they pick off Indiana, despite the fact I like Indiana, and they're one of my favorite teams, and I love their coach. EK, when one day uh, you and I are really old, we're going to go back to Kent, Ohio, my hometown. I'm going to take you to Ray's place. I'm going to buy you a round and some right there. <laughs> so that's the spot, all right? Ooh, we're going to get all – we're going to get – we're going to have a fun time. You, you're going to love Kent. You'd, lo you'd love Kent. <laughs> um, okay, EK, right back to here as we uh, round out the Midwest. Who is winning this region? I really only think there's two teams that can win this region, and it's Houston or Texas. And the question for me is, Marcus Sasser, how healthy is he? Now, considering the fact that he was ready potentially to go today and an, and an Elite Eight game is going to be a couple of weeks away, I'm going to assume that he is going to be healthy and that if he's healthy, they are the best team. Texas has expended a lot of energy. I like them, but they don't really have a pro on their roster. And when you look at teams that get to the Final Four, most of them you got a guy. And Houston has a couple of just absolute dogs on that team. So I'm going to take Houston, very motivated in state. And this is like the Texas region with Houston, Texas A&M, and Texas. But I'll take Houston to come out of this one. All right, when I think West, I think Wiz. Kenny White, uh, let's get him in the mix here to take us through this West region. As we take a look at it, looking at teams like Kansas, UCLA, Gonzaga, UConn, all of those names. Take me to your best ATS wager round one in the West, Kenny. Well, I'll tell you, you can't like both your plays, uh, so that's that's a good start for us in the, in the tournament, like your upset and your best ATS. Uh, my, my best play in, in the West is going to be Virginia Commonwealth. I'm taking three and a half with this team. Mike Rhodes, outstanding defensive coach. The last three years, his defense has been in the top 20. Uh, Alec Baldwin and Brandon Jones, great guards. Uh, they can shoot free throws. They get to the free throw line. Uh, ninth best in the country. Uh, St. Mary's, great team. Love him. Love Randy Bennett, what he's done. Uh, Aiden Mahoney is a sensational freshman year. Logan Johnson's a great guard. It's a very good basketball team. I think this is a really evenly matched game against two really strong defensive teams. And my key to the game is, I don't know why the West Coast Conference play their conference tournament so early. St. Mary's going to be off 10 days mm. before they play this game. They're going to find themselves down 10 points early and a game that's going to be very low scoring. Probably the first team to 55 wins this basketball game. It's going to be tough to climb back in it, I think, for uh, St. Mary's here. All right, so, Kenny, you're taking VCU plus the points and VCU on the money line. So who is winning this region in the West? 
I'm very shocked that this team is a four seed. They're the second best team in the country, and that's the UConn Huskies. I have no idea how they get a four seed. No idea. I don't know who was watching basketball or who's keeping track of this, but Connecticut is loaded with talent. Dan Hurley has done a tremendous job. They're one of the best offensive teams in the country. They're great on the defensive end. They play at a slow pace. They can play in the half court. They can go up tempo if you want to. Um, Sonogo in the middle is the big guy, and he's dominating. Hawkins is a great three-point shooter, and Tristan Newton. Uh, th this team is just outstanding. The number one offensive rebounding team in the country. That doesn't go away. That travels. They will win every rebounding battle in every game against any good team in the country. Uh, Connecticut uh, wins the West. All right, guys, I'd be lying if I told you that I wasn't looking forward to this next one because let me get out my big wooden spoon and prepare to stir the pot because this is Hakeem Dermish's favorite region when it comes to talent. We are going to get to the East. Eric Casillas does not co-sign that take. EK, we'll get your thoughts here, but I also need your ATS wager coming out of the East. I'm looking forward to hearing this. <laughs> All right, all right, first of all, let me just say, Kenny White is right with UConn. Oh, yeah. That, that's the group of death. Yeah. That bracket is brutal. Yep. Kansas, UCLA, mm -hmm. Gonzaga, and UConn are the top four. Each one is better than the person they are on the same line, the team on the same line within this region. Each one is better because that's the group of death, and this is the pansy region that was seeded by a group of people who apparently have never seeded anything before in their whole lives. So let's get to the who we want in the first round. All right. I'm taking Kentucky to hammer Providence. I love Providence. I've been accused of talking about Ed Cooley like I think I'm related to him. There's only one problem. They're done. The gas is out of the tank. They haven't played well lately. And Kentucky, who, you know, remember what happened last year? Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen to Cal Party two years in a row. That doesn't happen. And I know Bryce Hopkins will be very motivated. There's only one problem. He's bringing... Doesn't have enough weaponry for this fight, right? And here comes uh, Kentucky, who's actually playing much better at this time of year. They hammer Providence in this game, and I only have to give four. Okay, so so I, I, I like what you said there. I do agree with a lot of your points. What I will say, because I don't really think Tennessee is a traditional four, especially without Sakai Ziegler, EK, because you got Duke there. Really, that really, you might as well make them the four seed. But I'm just saying, my point here is. Purdue does have a tough path among the number ones, right? They'd have to play Memphis FAU, then a potential matchup against Duke or Oral Roberts there. I just see a lot of problems for the one seed in Purdue in this region. That's all the point that I'm making because I all think right. that – because you, right. you talked about the Big Ten. What have they done for you lately? This is another situation where the Big Ten, the one seed, could be gone. The only thing I'll say, Akeem, is this. The committee told us Purdue is the worst one. Yep. They did. And Marquette is the worst, too. Okay, so in what world of logic do you put the worst one and the worst two in the same region? The worst one is supposed to get the best two. This region's a joke, and you acknowledge the four seed doesn't have their best player. Yep. And the three seed, they say, is the second worst three. It's the worst top four I've ever seen. The worst one, the worst two, the second worst three, and a four. Marquette whose heart is not Marquette's is a good. For the Look, year. Mar Marquette's a good seed. They're, they stink. No, 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 no. They're no, the worst no, two. No. They're the worst. The they might be the worst. Says it. They might Don't be the worst. They might be the worst two, but they're I'm, a very good basketball team. I take full responsibility. They're for the this. worst. And now Why we know. would you put? Here's what I'm telling you: When we have our fantasy football league <laughs> next year, Hakeem, you're gonna pick last in the first round, last in the second no! round, and I'm gonna tell you that you Kenny, got the you got. Kenny, we, we, we made it too here. hard on Marquette you. Marquette is a good and EK, you know this watching you. They're the worst Marquette's two. Marquette's a good team in the Big they're East. The, they're the worst two. No, they're the worst two. That's fine. You can, you According can... to the committee, they're the worst two. All now, right. now we know why EK's you microphone was on the desk. This, this, <laughs> this went up a notch, it. and I, I take full I, responsibility. I threw it. If we want I to point it. fingers at anybody, point them I, at all, me. All I'll say is this. In the history of the world, have you ever seen seeding where the worst one and the worst two got put together in the same region? The point no, is well not received. until this pathetic region. All right. I would argue that Marquette's better than Arizona, but that's just me. We have outlined what we believe and what we think. <laughs> Maybe we get you guys 10 minutes together I, no, no, on the Ion College Basketball th Podcast. But this is what we do. We stir up the pot. EK, I don't know if you saw, I stirred up the entire Kansas uh, fan base with with Tim Doyle. We got they're going off because because he says he doesn't think Kansas is is national championship material. 
Kenny's gonna, Kenny's gonna hang up on us soon here. We, so we let's play, run through the rest of this play, region. We all play in the same fantasy football league. We all like each other. I'm just I telling you, I will make a motion that you get to pick last. Okay. Right? I'm just We've already got uh, you way, upset, do, it appears, so now I need an upset. <laughs> Take me to the upset in this region before we lose Kenny White. The upset is me. That's right. I'm the upset in this region because I don't really see one. Uh, I will take Louisiana over Tennessee okay. if I have to take one because, again, Tennessee's very banged up. And, there, and, and, and I don't really see a huge upset. This is the one region I don't see a big upset. All right. But I do see an upset winner in the region. Who wins this region presented by Cottonell, apparently? Duke. Okay. Duke's going to win the region. Because you can't, you press Purdue, they're done, as you've seen yep. with Rutgers and even today with Penn State. Marquette is solid, there's no pros. Kansas State is good, okay, but they're not great. And Tennessee's done. The best and hottest team is Duke. They are playing the best and they have the best talent. Duke gets out of this region. I, I, I hate to say it because mm -hmm. I feel like about Duke like everybody else does, but Duke's coming out of here. Marquette out of the region. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they might, because nobody else is there. Please ask Kenny White a question. <laughs> Kenny, let's let's go to your region. Uh, let's go. Hey, look, you look, you like another Big East team, right? You like Creighton, huh? Mm -hmm. In the South. I do. Uh, Creighton's, Creighton's outstanding. I, I love the segment because, uh, yeah, the, the East, uh, EK, way to go. You did a great job on the East. It is the weakest uh, bracket. And I, I would just debate that uh, there's three teams that I bet on, Memphis, Michigan State, and Kentucky, and any one of those three could win it all. Just remember that. Uh, going to Creighton, yeah, the seventh best team in college basketball. Uh, I, I think it's a good spot for them playing against North Carolina State. I got North Carolina State number 51 in the country. Uh, Kevin Keats has done a nice job, but his team's kind of limped home to the end here. Uh, they lost three out of four. The only worry I have in this game is North Carolina State shouldn't be in the tournament, and that's going to be talked about. They lost all three games to Clemson, and Clemson's not in. I have no idea how that happens. Clemson is a better team than North Carolina State. That was a big mistake. But Creighton, we saw them last year uh, win their first game. Really nice team. Played a big game against Kansas. And they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kansas. And almost everybody from that team is back. 28th in the country offensively and 15th on the defensive end. And I think it's a team that really, Greg McDermott, uh, really paced this team. He didn't push this team to the point where if he wanted to, he probably could have gone 28 and three other than the games that when Kalkbrenner was out and that was only three games, uh, but he wasn't, wasn't at full strength another three or four games. So they had a six game losing streak and they still had a great record. But again, I don't think he pushed them. I think he's got to have them peaking at the right time. They got their butts beat the other day by Marquette. They will be ready to go, and I think that huh. team can. Uh, they, they're going to make a run. They got their butts beat by Marquette. By, Mar huh. by Marquette, hmm. they got. Hmm. Okay, just just filing that one away I, for our team, Dermish. I, 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 I love this because I love arguments and I love conversation and I love when 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 Ek knows a lot about college basketball. I watch a lot of college basketball. Ek wagers on college basketball. I wager on college basketball. This is this is fun because mm -hmm. he he's right and and I'm right. I don't know who's going to be more right in this situation. We're going to have to look at each other's brackets. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. And look, I like Marquette and, and to for be different fair, we reasons. didn't say opposite things. Right. No. You, yeah, we, you, we didn't say opposite things. You were talking about Purdue. I was talking about the region as a whole. Fair yeah, enough. You're, it's, it, th that's, where, that's where we bring everybody in. And then the and then the viewer wins because I, if if you're watching this right now, look, you're at the edge of your seat, right? Because it's chaos on live television. You're like, what the heck are these guys going to say next? They might throw something. They might rip off a mic. <laughs> Hakeem might throw something at the wall. Who knows what's going to happen right the now? The next word goes to Kenny White, and it is on the upset in that region. <laughs> Kenny White, fill, fill our pockets here uh, and fill our minds with some knowledge. Do the homework for us because we know we're just looking for winners. We're also looking for some spirited discourse, but we will get there that we know. You're upset in this region is what? Yeah, I'm going with uh, Furman plus five against Virginia, yeah. and this team is a, a great shooting team. They, they, they can shoot it um, from three-point range. They got four three-point shooters, Swanson, Bothwell, Pegasus, and, and Foster, some really good passers on this team. Uh, their defense is solid. It's not great. But it's solid, and it's going to be good enough for this game. Virginia starting to reel a little bit. I've got Virginia the 42nd best team in college basketball. Uh, they lost Ben, ben Vanderplus. Uh, one, one guy I think is a box score stuffer uh, that I think they're going to they're, they're going to sorely miss him. And I think they missed him against Duke in that championship game. So um, Furman plus the points, uh, 74th best team in the country. But I think they're going to be, be better than that. Um, nice team here. Another upset I got, though, for you before I go back. Two-pack. Um, I've got Utah State beating Arizona. 
in the second round wow. in this bracket. A little bonus play there, looking down the pipe a little bit. Okay. Utah State okay. over Arizona. Arizona, there are obviously issues there uh, that were blatant to see there in that Pac-12 title. Kenny, game. you know what they, they chant at, at Furman University in, in the crowd? It's Furman University. You know what they chant? I think we can say this, right? F-U, that's what they chant. F-U. I think, we, I think we're okay to say that. If, if we're not, I, I guess I'll get a call from somebody after this segment's over. But, I mean, that, you know, that's what they chant. Okay? I think you might that's, be getting that call anyway. That's what they chant. It's a quote. Okay, <laughs> That's what they chant. And, and Kenny's chanting that because he's got an upset pick. All right, pick to win the South region. Kenny, uh, who are you rolling with? Uh, I think it's going to be a great championship game in that region. I've got Alabama over uh, Creighton in the championship game. I have Alabama, the number one team in the country. Uh, you know, they went through uh, the Brandon Miller stuff in January. Thank goodness he's completely cleared of anything. Uh, there's no charges that can be possibly filed against him. A big sigh of relief for Alabama. They went through a stretch where, you know, there was some uncertainty and there was it was it was a distraction. And I think they've gotten everything settled now. The last two games, they've looked like the best team in the country. Um, they, they're going to beat Creighton and go to the Final Four, and I think, I think Alabama wins it all. It's a good pick. I like Alabama. They're, they're, they're a pretty good team. This was fun. I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm ready to run it back. I mean, I really am. Oh, thank um, you, gentlemen. We love you. Here's a look at the odds to win the national title. Akeem, 6-1. to one. The Cougs. Cutting down nets in their own backyard. Yeah, as I mentioned at the start of this segment, um, Houston is trying to become just the second school to ever win a national championship in their home city. We had UCLA in 68-72 win in Los Angeles. Houston with a chance to win the national championship at Energy Stadium, the home of the Texans. We'll see if Houston becomes the home of the Cougars. Also, for inquiring minds, yes. Marquette, 20-1. to 1. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.